So last time we were a little bit confused on exactly where we're going because certain things aren't operating and I'm probably going to have to use the... I need a seal to put there. Which is probably going to open this door up here. But here's one thing I'm wondering about. Okay. This scroll... It's used for Sekhmet, I think. Teleport. Royal Burial Hall, the Lower Crypts, no. Desert of Hakir, Village of Muhar, Desert of Forgotten Shrine of Neferti. It was in the Forgotten Shrine of Nefertiti. No, it wasn't the Forgotten Shrine of Nefertiti. It was the Obelisk, Chamber of the Prophet, Obelisk, lower level. It was the Temple of Set. In here. That's the upper level one. Here. Why did I take damage? Did I accidentally teleport us into a mirror? Oh, shit. I want to see if we can kill... What's his name? The mummy. Here he is. Zenmet has been slain. Is there a point to killing Zenmet? worked. <laughs> What's all this up here again? Helmets and stuff. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna rest. water. That was, um, that was a nice little diversion. Bless. So we effectively killed Senmet. What was the point in that? Here's another thing. We couldn't normally get out of here because, oh no, it was statues, that's right. I thought it was keys for a second. No, it's statues. I 
I guess we can go back. I'll hail the teleport spell. I'm trying to figure out where the hell we're going. Temple is set, level one, temple is set, Pharaoh's Rest, Pharaoh's Rest. We're at Pharaoh's Rest. This is where we were. So we effectively killed Senmet, the invulnerable immortal mummy, by using a scroll that would put him to rest eternally. <clears throat> but I guess we had to make sure that he was it was hit he was hit with um the sword that was enchanted with it. Um, we still don't know how to open that door, but we think it's a switch somewhere. We need to pay better attention to the walls. Stop it. I really hate those things. We hover above the ground. I don't think they can hit us. Let me see if they can't. Yeah, no. Just hovering above the ground, they can't touch us. We can get around this stupid little pushing things by this. I wish I had figured out some of these mechanics a long time ago. Oh, there's a switch. Yeah, that opened that one. So the one that's not open is these, but there's an illusionary wall to go through them. What's the point in going through them? I, uh, like, not having your true seeing on is driving me nuts sometimes. There's a switch there that's already been pressed. Feels like that's supposed to open, but you can't really go through that, so... They're not a switch in here. I don't know why you would want all of these open if I can just use an illusionary wall to walk through here. Like, what's the point? The only thing I can think of is if the teleporters are supposed to be working. Not working. Not super concerned by those firebolts. Firebolts, fireballs, whatever. There's whatever that is that needs to go into it. I don't even know what the gold whistle is for. Maybe I'm missing something with the whistle. I don't think I ever used it. Hold on. What is it called? Gold Whistle. I know I missed something on this Gold Whistle. Oh. So, all right, let's do that real quick. Because I, I just saw something. It, I, I didn't see what to do with it, but I saw something in the clue book that we forgot about. We're gonna rest. Specifically so we can teleport. We're going to the obelisk, which was the first dungeon we ever went into, really. Or like the second dungeon, technically. <clears throat> He 
because there was this. Oh, we can't read it anymore because we don't have the papers with us. Let me see. Did I save it after killing Sendet? No, of course not. Why would I do that? Let's go do that again real quick. Uh, actually, no. Here, let's do it. So instead of like going back and reading it and finding everything, here's what it says. Hot gates the sands arise, flesh corrupts and falls away. These are the signs of their coming. So the hot gates is the... is, I guess, what ended up bringing us here. The sands arising, flesh corrupts and falls away. That would be the disease that's currently going on. The wrath of Onctopot burns the land. And remember, when we first read this, we had no idea what the hell any of this meant. The wrath of Onctopot burns the land who hopes to rule must lure the evil to him. Okay. In the ancient burial hall, the guardian of the gate of the dead awaits. He, She shall judge them by deeds both good and bad. That was the one guardian that ended up judging us that brought us in and gave us information on how to deal with everything. Her son, the sweet lute, did play this gentle music the ghost awaits. We played the lute for the ghost, um, and she sang us that song. To the priest, the mystic urn is given. The temple of harvest shall be restored. This is where all of our indication was. That entire plaque with that riddle in the beginning was everything we were supposed to do. Beyond the gate of dead, he awaits. The soul of the stranger knows the way. Master of the winged wind, three signals the whistle sounds, summoning forth the falcon. Hold on. So we need to go back to that one thing, that one fresco with the falcon or whatever the hell it is, and like whis use the whistle three times in a row, I'm guessing. The eight tears shall fall, raw weeps and the stone shatters, a fragment of the sand revealed. So that was the eight tears that we ended up putting in. Those were Ra's tears, and we ended up getting the seal of the Hierophant fixed that way. They capture the sun and in a coffer hold the might of Ra. By its light, the soul and the seal are freed. Two seals. So we have we have an object with Ra's light inside. Two seals, each in four pieces of lie. Piece to piece, the seals rejoin. Two gates are opened. We've already opened one gate. We need the last seal piece to open up the second gate. Into conflict, the foes are led. Onctopot and the other. When the fall, when falls the wall of Ra, so shall the way be open. The way home. So that's what we're supposed to do. Is we're supposed to use the final seal to open it up. I know what's supposed to end up happening. It's basically the here trying to force a fight between the hero font and Onctopot. Which will cause Onctopot to be messed up and not able to hold up his concentration on the Wall of Raw, which will allow it to fall and for you to actually be able to escape. But I want to kill off Senmet. God damn it. Like, why why is there always noise back there? That's what we got hit by last time. Don't hit him. Stop it. Look at all the damage he does on a regular basis. Senmet has been slain. Oh, you're supposed to just read that afterwards. Alright. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Rest. Yes. Teleport. We're going back to... We're actually going to put ourselves... How did we not see this? 
probably nothing there. There better be nothing there. I'm not going to do it. Fairy Temple of Raw is not where we want. Wait. This is what we want. We want the Tomb of Anctipat. Uh, except we want right here at the burp. Wasn't there a thing about this, the heart of the hero and the falcon? Okay, this is going to hurt our ears. I'm sorry. There we go. That was the third time. We did it once before. The image has come alive. How beautiful. If I'm not mistaken, yes, a falcon. Often prized as a trained hunter as the companions of brave men. That's, those weren't words. By the gods, it speaks, yet it is no language I understand. How wondrous. Wait, don't you have... Speak with animals? Here, now you have speak with animals for forever and ever and ever. Ow. Thanks. That call. That call. Yeah. The whistle sounds and I awake. Where? Where are you, my master? From where have you called? I could have just had Naya use the whistle and she would have already done this. We have called you beautiful one. The golden whistle is in our possession. You are not my master, no. The whistle you have, my heart is my own. Oh, my master, how I have waited for your call. Oh, my master, do you honor still the old vow? Just talking to the ceiling or something at this point. The old vow, what mission of your honor does your master follow? As I am a bird of war, so my master followed the ways of battle. So long ago. He was a hero, my master, a true warrior. When they spoke of the greatest soldier in all the land, it was of him they spoke. In time, the Pharaoh rewarded him. My master joined the royal guard. He swore to protect the Pharaoh with his life. And yet, yet he failed. Did he die in the service of Octopot? No, my master suffered not a single wound. The great priest of Ra, the Hierophant, made his way past my master with the stealth of a shadow. With the silence of night, the Hierophant stepped within the royal chambers. Anctipat met his fate at the fall of the Hierophant's blade. Your master must have felt great shame at his failure to protect Anctipat. Shame? Great shame. Yet my master swore that if he could not guard Anctipat in life, he would do so in death. He sacrificed his heart, the vessel of his spirit and soul, cast it into the desert. Forever now, <coughs> my master guards the way to Anctipat's burial chamber. He is but a stony shadow of himself, as was I. He's on the door. None shall pass that way, now or ever, until the heart of my master is once again returned to him. We have read some of the history of which you speak. Can nothing beyond the heart of your master even open the door he guards? No. Only my master's heart shall free him from the oath he swore. Only its return can release him from service to this evil lord. Once the heart rests again within him, he shall be free. Free to pass beyond the gate of the dead and me with him. You said your master's heart was cast into the desert. Oh, shit. In such heat and wind, blown sand, how might it be found? It would take t the eyes of, of an eagle. Yes, it would take the eyes of a hawk or a, hawk. Or a falcon. Thank you for freeing me from the stone, my friend. Now I might soar again, feel the heat of the desert beneath my wings turn high in rising air. 
I shall climb above the yellow sands where nothing can escape my sight. Somewhere among the lizards, among the insects, among the turning tides of sand, I shall find it. If you return with your master's heart, beautiful one, how will you restore it to him? I depend on you. Having freed me from the stone, having heard the tale of my faithful master, you will help. I know you will. Place the heart in that space from which it has been torn. Free my master from his oath to Antipat. That, that's ceiling. Duck, no. This is not how you... What is going on? It's supposed to be the bird flying. <laughs> it's like it was so... There he goes. <laughs> these graphics. You know, it's worse than Menzo Berenzen. <laughs> like, these are actually pretty high-end comparatively for the, uh, the first-person D&D games. Oh. It's going straight to the obelisk. Oh god, the heart was right there at the obelisk. Ew! How did you not see that? Oh. No. Not a baby. He's a kitten. He's not even a kitten, he's a kitty. Yeah, their vegetables also look a little suspect, but I don't no, mind checking them out. Oh, okay. They're bored. They're bored. Alright, we got what we needed. Um, I'm proud of myself because... I like how it stuck, it broke on her to where she permanently speaks with animals. But him, it didn't. Um, I'm proud of the fact that even though I looked at the clue book, I saw the the um, the stuff that we had read in the beginning, and I figured it out on my own. Good on me. Also, killing Senmet was just uh, yeah. Let's try this. You know what? Create water. Pee in everyone's hands, Naya. Le body. And then we're gonna rest, because why aren't we just gonna do this the better way? Have you seen how much you can cheese this game, technically, when you have a mage? So you know how the knock spell works, like you found out? Thieves' tools also work. Level 5 spell, teleport. Goes anywhere you've been anywhere and if you can see through some bars or a window you can go there <laughs> teleport uh that's i'm not even using the right arrows what's wrong with me okay so we're gonna go right save I don't have all the sealed pieces, but I'm hoping it's behind here. That's a gong. That's the piece. Aw, oh, yeah. Seals in one whole piece. Save. 35. I'm trying to see if we can just hit that. Piotr's just been like baggage carrier as far as we've been concerned. We just gotta go all the way down there. Ugh. Seems like so much work. Ugh. <laughs> Not dealing with these things. Having a mage with all these spells <laughs> makes this so much easier. 
It's like, oh, you have things on the floor that, like, turn you around and also push you away? Use fly and hover above the floor a little bit and you're done. Should be right here. Alright, let's save this. I don't think we wanted to come back here, did we? Checking real quick, because it, it just, the table of contents tells you if you come back here. There is a return to the Temple of Ra. But for what purpose? See how this would work. Try to cancel it before it plays the cinematic. All right. <clears throat> Why do we come back here? Let me see if I can see that one thing again. Into conflict the foes are led, Anctipot and the other one. When the fall when falls the wall of Ross, so shall the way. Two seals each and four pieces lie piece to piece, the seals are joined, two gates are opened. We have those. We're not supposed to go yet. All right. We are somehow supposed to get Ankh to pot and we just get him to follow <coughs> us through there. He'll actually follow us, follow us in there because we can't do anything to him. So we need to open this in advance, I think. He's gotta be through that door then. What about these teleporters off to the side? Did we ever get those functioning? Probably not. I feel like we're still missing switches or something that allows us to actually move forward with this. Yeah, that switch is done. Here, let's teleport out of there. Let's, or rather, let's reload out of there. Best I can think of is all the way down to the right. Basically, we need to get that door all the way north open. Oh, 
Oh, the ketones ointments. Here. If you see a switch on a wall that doesn't look like it's grayed in, feel free to yell out in chat, and then I'll be all like, where did I leave it after I see it five minutes later? Ah, uh, yes. This one. The one where for some reason fly doesn't work and, yet work and you have to actually jump over it. I, I feel like fly should be like just work over this, but whatever. We've searched down this hallway. There is no, there's, there's nothing. No switch. of these being here. Echo. You. I'm pretty sure we don't have to go in there. We are literally an end game for this. I had no idea we were this close to the end. No, that's already pressed. Buttons on the wall. Button, button. Who's got the button? Are you a button? Are you a button? <laughs> oh. Boom. What did that open? I'm betting that opened a teleporter. Let me double check the walls in here. Alright. Back to the teleporters. Save. You kidding me? I will say this is at least less infuriating than Castle Strahd. Like, the zombie golems, oh my god. And even the final fight with Strahd, oh my god. Save scummed the hell out of that one. And that's mostly because Strahd is just, it's all of his attacks, it's just RNG if he's gonna fuck you up.
nothing. What did that open up? There's an up there, there's a down there. We had this up here that we never saw. Bodhi, are you aggressively scratching that? He is. Something's off. Let me see how you open that door. So that door is number 26. The northbound slider trap that's deactivated by button at location 23. Uh. That was the button that we found. We deactivated some sort of weird slider trap. That open that way. So we need the top button to be open now. Hold on. I'm not getting any answers out of this whole thing. Am I supposed to use that gong? Yes, you are. You need a mallet. Where the fuck is a mallet? Do I have a mallet? I don't have a mallet. Did I have a mallet from a previous area? Like a previous dungeon? Oh shit, did I leave it in a previous dungeon? No, there's a Pharaoh's Rest Crypt of the High Priest. There's a mallet. I don't think I've been there. Crypts of the Children. How do we get to the crypts of the high priest? Okay, what if we just actively use stairs? Like there's, so there's a down and there's an up. Oh, we never went through the downstairs. That's probably it. Deal with it, Piotr. I don't care, I did it on accident. But you're fucking gonna deal with the disease. He's like, <laughs> Yeah, I saw that button. We pressed that one already, though. Here. You're fine. Slather some oil on yourself. There you go. Alright. Don't want to touch that. Completely forgot we had seen this and we never went down there. Hello. Get out of our way. Might have forgotten to put that on. Or that. Fine, this will make us hit more often. Not using any magic because you're a stone golem and I think you're resistant to magic or some shit. Holy shit, there's a whole bunch of you. You know what 
I can do. Potion of giant strength. Naya just died. Damn, that man is thick. That's a uh, stone golem. Here. Prayer. Bless. That should make your strength... What does it turn your strength into? 20. Potion of speed. Potion of speed. Because there's a lot of them down there. It's like, whatever. We haven't been using this and we're in end game. Oh! Didn't think of that. Dust of Disappearance. Boom, now we're all invisible. Claws of the Umber Hulk, worthless. Death Spell, Detect Invisibility, Lich Touch, Haste. Of course we have a Haste scroll on us that we're never using. Wait. Bless Prayer, blah 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 blah. And then, stone skin, just in case. All right, you're gonna have your asses handed to you. They can't see us, so they're not even attacking. They're just running away. Oh, that's funny. They're afraid of us because they can't see us, so they can't attack us. Dust of Disappearance isn't supposed to work this way, I think. You're supposed to be able to become... It's not improved invisibility. Rip water making machine. <laughs> Naya dies, she's the water making machine. How dare you? I mean, you're not wrong, but... I mean, this is probably the end of Naya and Oscar's adventures. I don't think he can carry them into uh, Mensa Baranza. Pretty sure he can't. And if I did, they would be overpowered. Like, we'd be cakewalk. We would just walking through Mensa Baranza without a problem. Iron Shield Key. I feel like this is a waste. <laughs> a key! Ha 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 ha! What are you doing here? She's all like, um, you killed my mummy? <laughs> Look, a mallet. Here, save it again real quick before I talk to her and she's like... You! The signs ran plain enough. Etched across your face like the death of dreams. Senmet is no more. Senmet is destroyed! I know, I killed him. We've heard this all before, yet now we had it. Now we know it to be the truth, for Senmet fell before us. Here I awakened Senmet so long ago. Here I slept the sleep of pharaohs and dreamed of that power soon to be mine. You have stolen everything, and not from me alone. There is another who sought to use Zenmet's power. The great priest of Ra, the Hierophant. You have taken his pawn, ruined his plan. The hero font knows no- <laughs> What's the face she makes? We're gonna try and talk to her again and see. If we can get that whole thing. Here I awakened Senmet so long ago. Here I slept the sleep of- The hero font knows no forgiveness for the likes of you and Senmet. My Senmet shall be avenged. Be Sounds like we have made another enemy. Who is this hero font, this ally of Senmet? Uh. You fool. 
Senlet was no ally of the hero font. A pawn of the priest. A servant of the hero font. These things he was, and no more. Ah, what a waste. The prophecy had all but come to pass. With the obelisk standing in the sight of men, and the temple of Ra unearthed. Soon the hero font would have moved against Antipat. Then, in that instant, the beginning of the end would have come. Well, Didi, Buddy walked into the hallway, <coughs> if you didn't hear, and just meowed a bit ago. If the hero font would have moved against Antipat, why not do so without Senmet? Know you less <coughs> than nothing? Apparently so. The hero font cannot leave the Temple of Ra. Bound to it, he commands little beyond that place. With one soaring hope, he made his plans. To combine his powers with Senmet's mobility. To use the two in a scheme to defeat Antipat. These he sought. Now, with Senmet destroyed, know you this. The hero Fent shall not allow his vast powers to dissipate. Those powers shall be leveled against you when the chance arises. A threat of treachery winds through this land, perhaps too tangled to follow. If Senmet is a pawn of the hero font, whose pawn, I wonder, are we? Is there anything else in this room? Doesn't look like it. I think that just answered what we needed to do. So, if we had not killed Senmet, the hero font was going to use it because the hero font's sealed in his own tomb and can't leave it. He was going to use Senmet, the the super immortal mummy. To combine his powers in order to go after Octopot because the two of them are just Bitchy McBitchums for each other, against each other, whatever. They're both pain in the asses. But now that we've destroyed Senmet, the Hierophant can't use him, and he's just bound to his tomb. That's why we need to leave, lead Octopot to him. So the two of them can fight each other in that specific tomb. Okay. This shouldn't be difficult to do. Is this going to be ruined because we're all invisible? <laughs> ah, fuck, it's going to be one of these, isn't it? Good old 90s, uh, super smooth visuals. ridiculous. Ow! Go this way. He's coming. How quickly is he coming? Hey! I think we're being hit by that trap. Really? Somehow I lost my fly between everything happening. Oh my god. It's not exactly difficult to get away from, so...
Is he just really, really slowly making his way this way? Because... Really? Hey, Octopod, I know you're undead, but dear god, you're supposed to be, like, essentially a god in this land. Oh my fucking god, here, rest. I can't deal with that. You can't just ask a mummy how quickly they can come without <laughs> taking them out to dinner first. <laughs> Why? I can't deal with these stupid, like, crap things. There. He killed Oscar. Here, let's let's go back one more. Here, we'll do rest here first. Yeah, that's fine. So I noticed one thing. He completely shuts down our ability to use like he he dispels all of our magical stuff. I don't know if he dispels the clerical stuff, but he definitely dispelled Fly. And we'll see if we can skip this. Yeah, you can skip it. Naya's light wears off. Yeah, he's he's dispelling us. Okay. So. Hold on. Save. G37 here. We need to get him to follow us. Can't detect his evil. Get over here. God, you're so slow. Let me check and see if you have to actually lead him. Because that's going to be really annoying if he has a chance to just instantly kill you. It just says Octopop follows you. Is there like, can I put up like Death Ward or something? So he can't just instantly cast a death spell? That should get his attention. Fucking hell.
following. There, save. 38. It doesn't look like he's moving. Now he is. Tried throwing a fireball at us. He actually following? I don't see him. Oh, he's sort of following. We all just take damage from just now. Uh. Is he coming? Hey, Agarim. There he is. I could see him at the edge of the door. There he is. No. Oh, he dispelled our fly. Again. Kitty's dead. Acceptable losses. Alright. Bad decision. The easiest way is to go through here. Technically. Actually, the easiest way is to go straight through here, but we would need to open up that stupid-ass door. How the hell do we open that door? That's the whole reason you'd want to use that stupid door. 34. There may not be an opening for it. The door which cannot be opened. Illusionary walls allows the party to travel around it. So we did get as much as we can out of that. Are you coming? He is coming. You know, just go through here. Oh, we can see him on the map. He's very slow. I mean, he's a mummy, but dear God. <laughs> That's my fault. Need to save before I look around corners like that. All right, so he's right there. He's moving. So we're in um, a very painfully slow. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. He's just throwing fireballs at us. Come on. I feel like he's getting stuck on the environment. Here. Save 39. I honestly don't know if we need to, like, actually, like, wait for him to move. Sure as hell doesn't seem like he's moving.
What if I let him down this one? Like, this would be fine, but we'd have to jump to get over to it. I think this might be the best one, actually. He actually will start moving. Thanks. See him. Is he moving though? There he is. <laughs> this is tedious. And because I don't have her wand of detect enemies anymore, I can't tell where he is. I kind of wish I had saved that wand a little. At the same time, I was like, I don't need to save wands. There he is. It'd be funny if he comes down here and we just watch him go spin-spin on the 180 trap. Come on. I think his pathing is messed up. He's on the... Um, I think we have to be right here to get him to do this. wall right there but here save you need to be within a certain distance of him for him to actually keep coming towards you I'm just hoping he used up all of his stupid fireballs That he destroys your ability to fly to where you have to deal with that ship too. Save 40. Come on. had another fireball on him. Come on. Come on. Come on, dead the king, prince, pharaoh, whatever. Come on. Come on. I've got eternal life for you. <laughs> I've got Ra's eternal life. Stop it. Fucking hell. <laughs> Uh. 
Okay, save 40. First part is I got thrown down here. No, don't do it there. Save here. 40 is just us making progress. Come on! For fuck's sakes! I, I'm like, I don't know if he has an aura around him that causes death or whatever, or if he's actively using the death spell. Either way, I don't want to get too close to him. I love how I'm incrementally saving for this. You know, I preferred Strahd's fight, honestly. Like, this is interesting in a way, but oh my god, his pathing. Ooh. Piochao, oh. you're a loss that we can afford. <laughs> no one likes you anyways. Ah, oh. oh, shit. I liked it better when Piotr was dead. Get it, you're slow. Stuck on the corner again. Just need him to move forward some more. Oh my god. Come on. Come on. Come on. You little bitch, did you need to do that? Presence of Hegtopot, the Hierophant awakens. There is no time for greeting. <laughs> he hit his hat off. <laughs> There's nothing for them now but to destroy each other. Yeah, but the, by the look of things, we should leave, and quickly. That's easy. The ancient undead continue their struggle, aware only of the hatred burning within them.
This was top quality at the time. I guess. God. Look, I'm quite happy that, um... Where am I going? I feel like we shouldn't be in here. You know what we could do? Hold on. Fuck this staff. Anyone say anything different? How are we supposed to know where to go? Go south. Going south. Wall of Raw. What? Wasn't there some scrolls or something that was... There was a guy who had died. Who had left behind a scroll that would allow you to escape. But it was within the Wall of Ra. Thought I saw a yellow thing once when I was looking at the wall. Right over here. Fuck off. by it. A dagger. Did I throw that out here? Fucking hell, really? Water skin. Ooh. Let me see what it says. Like... Supposed to get the scroll of return. Wait, do we have a scroll of return already? Just to the east of 
the Temple of Ra. We're running in circles. Set, Temple of Harvest, Sphinx, Catacombs, Temple of Ra. Boom. It's directly to the east. So, basically, in the wall, like I had thought. But it's over there. So we'll keep an eye. There it is. It's right that. I don't think you have Within a Within the buried temple of Ra, the combatants join together. It is a deadly embrace. I don't know if you have a time limit or if it like it it triggers at certain points. Here. What began as a rage of evil hearts shall end just the same. Yet victory cannot smile upon both creatures, and the Hierophant begins to tremble. This magic is our last chance, and there's not a moment to waste. We'll use it now. <laughs> Just that's what happens to the spell scroll. Only, the magic, and then, in a surge of power, the gate is established. Here, here stands the way to El Terrell. Who is that person that's running toward? Oh, this child. Tempt to Lord load non resource file. Seventy one out of six. Thanks. I told them so. I told them you would save us. The storms have gone. The plague, too. Everyone. They all know. I told them. Mundil was right. You did fulfill, fulfill the prophecy. The rest, they are a, a shame. They want to thank you, but won't come near. They know how wrong they were. Wrong about you. None are brave enough to face you. The disease is gone. I'll grow to be strong like you, and I'll remember, always. One day, I'll tell my children. The sand and the heat, they can't make us forget. No night will pass, but we'll talk of you in Muha. What few moments remain cannot be wasted. It's better with the sound, with the music lowered. Kingdom has been won. Praise, sweet life, and bless the day that brings you back to us. You have my answers, I see that, and a thousand other tales to tell by the look of things. The wall of light is gone, and all trace of evil magic with it. <coughs> but Lord Delps shall hear how you disobeyed my orders. You have saved the nation, but a Hell Rider is nothing without discipline. Your orders, clearly stated, were to scout and return, not to take the entire evil matter upon your own shoulders. I'm afraid it's a month confined to the palace for you, with no more than a thousand pieces of gold as your reward, and no more than two parades in your honor, and, by the gods, my own personal welcome home! Did he just punish us and reward us? Fucking bastard. <laughs> hey, at least we finished it. Where dreams the sands to keep our dead speak of my breathless son. Shrouded in dark and endless sleep, in vaults lost near the rising sun. Sweet sounds my child play <laughs> before the ancient fairy. It's like, what are you doing to me? <laughs> In innocence and ages past, when all life's great rotted rain. 
<laughs> Look for the next great adventure from Dreamforge and SSI. I'm pre I am pretty sure that this was the very last one that they ended up doing before, like, the SSI no longer was... I think SSI lost the license for d and I'm not entirely certain, but I know that after this... I think the next D&D &D game we ever saw after this technically... No. No, yeah, I think it was Baldur's Gate. But, um, yeah, no. I like it. 